Good morning and welcome to 10 Minute Mondays on today, November the 16th of 2020. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about the flip switch control in Power Apps. Now, I'm going to demo this using a Dynamics 365 instance, but you can configure this control anywhere in Power Apps. So I thought we'd start out with an article that I recently wrote on CRM Heidi, which is showing you five steps to configure the flip switch control using Power Apps. Um, so I thought it would be fun to walk through this first and then go into Power Apps in a demo environment and actually configure it. So when can you use a flip switch? It can be used on any yes, no uh, Boolean field within Power Apps. So it's going to change it of yes, no, or a checkbox if you have that on the form to something that looks more like this, this lovely little swip flip switch, which is a nice visual control. I like to mix up my field types on my form, just kind of makes it a little bit easier for users to navigate around a field and interact with different data types instead of everything being a, a type in field, a drop down field or a checkbox. So in the green text here, I have some late breaking news. If you weren't already aware, last week, Microsoft changed some of its terminology in Dynamics 365 and Power Apps and Common Data Service which you'll notice as you go into your solution and start to add different assets. While we used to navigate and add in assets from the entity, that's now going to be called tables. So if you're trying to add a specific entity, you're going to look for table now. So you're going to add a table like leads, which is what we're going to do. Um, and the field, if you want to add a new field, those are now columns. So within your table, you have columns, so it's a little bit of a different language. We'll all get used to it together. Um, also, yes, no fields are the new term for two option fields. So we are working with yes, no fields today. So two option fields or Boolean fields. The first thing we're going to do is go to make.powerapps.com. We're going to navigate to your solution file and within your table or your entity, you're going to navigate to the form where you apply the control. So all of these field level or column level for field controls are actually applied at the form level in Power Apps. And we're going to walk through how to do that. The second thing you're going to do is open up that field or that column where you want this control applied. After you open that field, it opens up the panel on the right hand side of your Power Apps. And that's where you're going to click this add components area. Um, it's going to show you anything currently available in Power Apps on a two option field, which is what we're using here. Um, we're going to select the flip switch option. Then we're going to confirm our scope. So when you we will talk about scope when it appears in the demo, but there's a couple options there. And finally, we're just going to save and publish our changes. So as you can see, it's really simple. I don't even think this is going to take 10 minutes today on our 10 minute Mondays. So I'm going to flip over to our other tab here. I'm already at make.powerapps.com and I'm in a demo environment that I've spun up. So the first thing you would do is go to make.powerapps.com, select the appropriate environment. And I'm working under the assumption that you're already using solutions and everything that you're making your changes on is already within a solution. So I'm navigating to solutions and I'm going to select this amazingly fantastic solution for demos. So when I click on this, this is going to open up the solution file that I'm already working with. Now, here is a list of all of the different entities that are here. If I need to add another one, I'll go to add existing. And if you haven't seen this yet again, entity is not going to show up here. It will be tables. So you can navigate to table and then select the table that you'd like, which again are those for those of us who have been working in this area for a long time with dynamics. Um, that would be what was previously known as an entity. So I've already got my lead here, which is where I want to implement this. Oh, I'll show you where we're going to do it. So here's um, a power app that I've created of my dynamics data. So we're going to apply it at the lead level. So let's go on the back end again. And I'm going to go to forms. So I want to apply this on my lead form. So I'm simply going to click the name of the form I want to apply it on, open it up, let that form load, and then we can get rocking around on the actual field. All right, so here's my field. It's called interested in widgets. And you can see right now there's no control applied to it. The user would have no and then click it to change to a yes. Or maybe I had formatted that to display the checkbox on the field. If that's the case, it would be a checkbox. But what we're going to do is apply that flip switch control. 
So you can see as I clicked on this field, a panel opened on the right hand side and there's this components area. So I'm going to click components to kind of expand everything that's here. And then I'm going to click this plus components. We're going to add a component. Now, whatever shows up here is what is available today in Power Apps for that field type. So there are limited options in Power Apps. If you want to apply a field control on a form for yes, no field, you've got a toggle, a flip switch, and a canvas app. I click flip switch. It's as simple as that. So I selected my flip switch and now we come to scope. So just a note about scope by default, Power Apps is going to apply this to everything. If I want to limit the scope, maybe I only want this control to appear on a mobile device or a tablet device and not on the web. I would simply uncheck the box where I don't want it to display. Um, I'm going to leave it as checked because I think this is a cool control that is valuable for anyone using a touch screen, a mouse or anything else. So I can click done. Um, and that's it. So did you see how that changed quickly? Then my last step is just to save and publish. So it's really simple to turn this field on. I mean, so simple that we've only been talking for six and a half minutes and we're done. Um, so that's all I have to say about flip switch. It's a pretty simple, I would say it's probably the simplest field level UI control that you can apply to a form which is why it's gone so quickly. Um, but feel free to check out my blog. I've got some more resources here on UI controls, um, different power app controls. You're welcome to check it out, try it. Um, I guess since we have some extra time, what I can do is show you how to apply this if you're an on-prem customer. So the steps we walk through will work if you are a Dynamics 365 online customer or if you're applying this on power apps. Now, um, my background is very strong in Dynamics 365. So when I demo things, I like to show how, oh, I hit the wrong thing, sorry. I like to show how to apply it for Dynamics Online customers as well as Dynamics On-Premise customers. Because I know there's a lot of you out there still. And I know a lot of people don't talk to you. Everything is all about um, online. But I myself ha had worked on a few on-premise systems when I was still on the customer side before the partner side. So. I always like to show you how to do it for you. So here we are in our classic solution experience. So those of you on on-premise, this is what you see. I am going to open my solution file, the same solution file with the same components. Um, and once this loads, I am just going to zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit easier to read. OK, so same thing here. We're applying this control on the form level. So I still have to navigate to my form. I'm going to expand my entities here on the left. I'm going to expand my leads and then I click on forms. And once my form loads, I'm going to open up my form using the classic solution experience here. And it's going to double click this again, just zoom in a little bit and make it a little bit easier to read. So this is going to load all of my my field details. And here's my interested in widgets. So this isn't the Power Apps version. But what I want to do is see the details here. So I can either double click on this or click the Change Properties tab, whichever one you prefer. And then that's going to load details about my field. So from here, I'm going to navigate over to the Controls tab. And you can see I already have it on here because we did it in Power Apps, so let's take it off. So by default, I have the flip label, which is the yes, no. And, and like I said, if you had the checkbox, it would just be like this. Um, so let's click add control and you can see there are a lot more options in the classic solution designer. Um, that's true of a lot of these field controls today. It's changing more moving over to power apps, but um, there are many, many more in the classic solution designer. So I'm going to select flip switch. I like this because it gives you a little preview of exactly what it is. It tells you it's for two option fields or yes, no fields. Click add and this one is different. So in Power Apps, it defaulted me to turning this on for all of these different items for scope, web, phone, and tablet. However, in the classic solution designer experience, it defaults me to none. So I have to opt in on this instead of opt out. So now I have flip switch apply. So I'm going to click OK, save, and then we're going to publish. And then we have walked through this exact same process but for on-premise customers. So I hope this was helpful and we're right at 10 minutes. So this worked out really well. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or reach out to me. I'm at Heidi at reenhanced.com. Um, I love 
helping people through these things. So I, I don't mind at all if you want to get in touch and we can check it out. So let's just preview this real quick so I can show you what it looks like on the on-premise side now that it's done. Assuming that the demo gods play nice with me and we're not looking at a screen loading for ever. I'll give it like 15 seconds. And if not, you can just trust me that it loaded. 69%. Come on. All right, it looks like this getting stuck. And I don't want to make you watch me just talk while I'm waiting for a form to load. But that's all you have to do. You can save and close once you've done this and then navigate your on-premise system and check out the really cool new controller you have. So again, I hope you enjoyed this very quick, brief demo of how to configure a flip switch in PowerUps. And we also got to walk through how to configure a flip switch um, for your Dynamics 365 on-premise instance. Hope to see you guys next week for our next 10 minutes Monday. Bye.